Welcome everybody, today we're gonna have a look at Pikachu, our newest guide in the series of Pokemon Unite guides. Welcome, my name is Kay and I'm going to show you how to use Pikachu the most effective way, what moves and combos are available and which battle and health items are the most effective. So let's dive right in. Pikachu is one of the 5 starters you can get when starting out with Pokemon Unite. And now with the mobile release you have the chance to get it for free, including a new Hollowware with Pikachu. So grab it now, log into your mobile device and play with it. Pikachu is a special attack type Pokemon, that means that it scales with special attack items and it's a ranged attacker with a difficulty novice. The progression is quite easy because Pikachu starts out on level 1 and stays as Pikachu up to level 15. I suppose that they didn't want to include Raichu because Pikachu is more sellable, so that's the choice Pokemon Unite got. When starting out with our two first moves we have Thundershock and Electro Web. Thundershock is a simple attack move which can damage multiple Pokemon when they're close by and has a cooldown for about 5 seconds. Electro Web hindrance the enemies because they are stuck on the place when you hit them and it's also a 5 second cooldown. It's a good choice for starting out with Pikachu. When starting out with Pikachu I would always take Thundershock with me because it's a very good damage ability and it can also hit multiple enemies on your way to the top or bottom lane where Pikachu feels the most effective. So like you see we're fighting now and the short cooldown, in this case I don't have any because I've disabled them for the practice mode, but you can hit multiple enemies if they're close by and it's very helpful for the early game. The second ability you get is Electro Web and the range isn't as good as Thundershock but when striking down enemies they're stuck for a certain amount of time so it can help you when chasing down enemies in the early game, striking them with Electro Web at the beginning and then with the second move or in this case with Thundershock if you haven't reached level 4 so it's a very good moveset for the beginning. On level 4 we already have the choice between Electro Ball and Thunder. Electro Ball is also a short hit ability which helps us to hit the enemy with more damage the lower the HP is. So it's a very good ability to chase down enemy Pokemon when they're on low health because like I said the damage is increased and so you can strike them down when they're trying to run away. It's upgraded on level 11 to Electro Ball Plus which increases the damage that is dealt by that move. Thunder is a classical AoE area of effect ability which hits multiple Pokemon or enemies when striking down to the ground. As well it gets to Thunder Plus on level 11 which increases the number of attacks for this move. And at level 4 we get Electro Ball and I have to say this is one of my most favorite abilities with Pikachu because you see the range is quite good and when striking down it's always a sure hit and hitting multiple enemies in its way. So even if the Pokemon is triggered by this move and teleports away or gets away the move still will hit so it can help you when an enemy tries to get back to the goal and combined with Electro Web in this case you can even stuck them down and then strike all with big damage and if the enemy has even low HP, the damage is increased. So a very viable option with Pikachu and I recommend trying it out. The other option at level 4 is Thunder. And like I said, it's an AoE ability and you see the range is very good. And when striking down, multiple hits are getting down on the enemies and you're dealing damage with every strike. With the plus variant, you're getting more strikes. It's okay, but like I said before, Electro Ball is a short hit and it even chases down enemy Pokemon when used in the right timing, so I'm most likely taking the other choice, but you see, it's okay, you can try it out when you want to deal increased AoE damage with your team. At level 6, the second set of abilities becomes available and it's either Volt Tackle or Thunderbolt. Volt Tackle jumps to an enemy, hitting it for multiple times and throwing it. On level 13 we get Volt Tackle Plus, which reduces this move's cooldown. Thunderbolt on the other side is similar to Thunder, because it's an AoE attack, which leaves Pokemon unable to act when this attack hits. It just needs a little prepping time before striking down, and Thunderbolt becomes as well on level 13 to the plus variant, which increases the damage dealt by this move. At level 6 we get Volt Tackle and you see the range is quite similar if not even the same as Electro Ball. We are jumping to the enemy, throwing it up and keeping it for a short time on the place. So it's good combined with Electro Ball if you have some time or you're waiting for your teammates. You can charge it down, jump to the enemy and you also jump back so you have this distance which is very important like I said with Pikachu. So you can strike down close combat, get away and jump 
to get your next opportunity. And on level 9 we're getting the Unite move Thunderstorm which just lets rain down those thunders on the ground dealing immense damage to enemy Pokemon. And at level 9 we are getting our Unite move. One important thing, you just can't target enemies, no wild Pokemon. You see though are all those Vespiqueen and the combis. I cannot target them, only the substitute doll because this is in the practice mode like an enemy team member. So let's strike it down and you see the radius is very huge and it's striking all the enemy Pokemon, but like I said, not the wild ones. So again, striking down with huge hits and it can help you in big team fights to deal more damage and to help out your team when striking out those important objectives. So it's really fun to use, try it out if you can. And at level 6 the other choice is Thunderbolt and I have to say that I like this combined with Electro Bolt the most. Because when striking down it takes a quick time to get activated but when it activates you see this combi is chasing me down and when I'm striking right it's hindrance for a little moment and cannot get away. So just imagine when you have your team using Thunderbolt all the enemies are stuck at the place and you can combine it with the damage of your mates and of course of Electro Ball and this is most likely to get a very good chance for Pikachu to get some KOs and to deal good damage combined with every other aspect of our Pokemon. The basic attack of Pikachu becomes boosted with every third hit which deals increased damage. It also paralyzes enemy Pokemon for a short time when it hits so they're getting slowed and cannot move. And the passive ability is Static which paralyzes all enemy opponents for a short time when you're receiving damage. This ability goes of course on cooldown after it's triggered for a short time. Now let's take a quick look to the held items. I'm using Body Barrier, Focus Band and the new item choice Specs with Pikachu. Body Barrier gives us an HP bonus and every time we use a Unite move we and our teammate with the lowest amount of HP gets a really big shield which can help in big fights and of course when fighting Zapdos or other objectives. Focus Band, I choose this because not only the defense is increased but we're getting back a little bit of HP and it's sometimes very important with Pikachu because we don't have as much mobility as with other Pokemon so I like to take this step for some extra safety. And the third choice is Choice Specs. I'm experimenting a little bit with this one because it increases the damage of certain moves for a relatively big amount but the cooldown is rather high for about 10 seconds and the higher the special attack of the Pokemon is the higher this damage gets. Like I said it's only on level 10 in this case because I'm trying it out but it seems like a viable option when choosing Pikachu. Of course if you want to get more into the face of enemies you can swap out Focus Band for something else like for example Wise Glasses because it not only increases the special attack for flat amount but also by a certain percentage based on the level of the item. And of course we also take a quick look at the battle items and like I said Pikachu doesn't have any mobility abilities in this case so I always like to choose eject button. Every 70 seconds we get a dash to get into or out of fights so it's very viable when fighting with Pikachu. But of course you have some other possibilities as well. In this case X speed can also be a very good option because the cooldown isn't as high as eject buttons one and for a short time it increases the speed with which we can move around the battlefield and X attack on the other side, like the name suggests, increases the attack and special attack for a short time so if you want to take even more burst out of Pikachu this is also a very good choice. So you see our little yellow Electro Mouse has some very good abilities to strike down enemies and with some CC combined as well. In the next few scenes I'm going to show you how I've been using Pikachu, what you can do and what's important to take into consideration when picking it. So have fun! This is a very good example how effective the CC effects the crowd control can be from the beginning. You see the Charizard is trying to fight us but combined with nine tails and the freezes and the shocks it doesn't stand a chance and we almost got Blastoise as well. And shortly after this happened again Charizard is trying to fight us but with the immobilization and the effects of both of us we can strike it down fairly easy and there it is there is Cinderace and you see there is the electro web it's hindrance it is almost not getting away but the last hit wasn't strong enough so it got back to its goal. And yes this poor Charizard isn't getting away we are getting with all those crowd control and blasting it from this stadium. And there it is, there is Blastoise, it's on its goal. We almost try to get it, but then we decide, okay, let's get back to the farm. And the enemy Cinderace is getting into us. There it was, there was the Thunderbolt striking it and crowd controlling them as well. And Cinderace made here a capital mistake. It thought that it can strike me at the goal, but again, with the combination of all the moves and my power of Pikachu, it was 
an easy play for me and so I got it from our goal. And now you see why I like Thunderbolt and Electro Ball so, because that is Snorlax tries to get away and again the Thunderbolt striking it, having enough time for a Crossle and Kilia to get it and then we can easily go to the goal and strike down our Aeus points. And here I want to show you how effective Pikachu can be in a good team fight. Again, with all this crowd control, the enemy is trying to rush at our goal. And I'm waiting, I'm back at the line to get the berry, to get my health back up. And with God of War fighting both of them, Cramorant is at Cinderace as well there. And our Snorlax getting into the fight and with all our combined power and the last Thunderbolt getting to Cinderace. So it cannot get away and we're striking it down as well. And of course I want to show you how effective the Unite move can be. So it's in the final stretch and there it is, Cramorant and Cinderace trying to get away. It's even using its eject button, but the Unite move striking multiple times. We're slowing down the Cinderace and with Electro Ball the sure hit, even if it teleported away, we can get it and so it got down. Pikachu, the yellow electric mouse. Of course, it has to be part of the roster when talking about any kind of Pokemon game. Like you've seen, the attacker type Pokemon is very viable in matches, if you play it correctly, you have to be a little bit on the defensive side when it comes to close combat, but when used right, and if you take all the CCs into consideration, you can deal lots of damage with our little fellow. I hope you enjoyed this guide and if you took anything helpful out of it, I'd be tremendously happy if you could leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel and become part of the Pokemon Unite community. I have as well created a new Pokemon Unite squad, so if you are interested, I have some places left. At the top you're gonna see a link to the short video about squads in general and there I'm explaining how I called mine. So thank you for your time, have much fun in Pokemon Unite and see you soon.